Hi folks, it's been a wee while since I've made a video for you. It's been a busy summer. I've been off on tour around Europe as the guitar tech for Sasha Pete with Aventasia. And great fun, many, many stories, which I will never tell you. Anyway, it was good fun. Back home, and as you see, I'm in a different room than usual. Kitchen's getting renovated, so I've been kicked out of that room because one day it does have to become a kitchen and not just a room for me to store all my gear in. Anyway, by and by, you'll notice that everything I've got pretty much are various forms of super strats. And my very first super strat was one of these. Not this one, one of these. And from there, you're saying, oh, that's like an Ibanez RG. But this is the Yamaha RGX321FP, allegedly designed by the same guy who did the Ibanez RG. Um, so he didn't really do an awful lot. He added the X. I think that was about it. But this model came out in, I think, 1991. And one of these was my first proper decent guitar and they are a really good guitar out of all my guitars this is the one that i used the most not this one i will reiterate i recently bought this one they cost around 400 pounds new back in 1991 so not cheap but they were cheaper than an ibanez rg or an ibanez gem which is what i really wanted i I'd got Passion and Warfare, I wanted the swirly finish, the dipped swirl stuff and things. No chance. That was way out of budget. Anyway, I seen these. <clears throat> and as you see, this is a nice silvery sparkle. But it's not. This has got a clear pick guard that's held on by screws but it goes all the way round everywhere this silver sparkle on this guitar is kitchen foil and this is just as i've got it i just got this yesterday i found it for sale now i'll show you if i shove this piece of card in push it all the way through there you go there's the kitchen foil and something as simple as that does a great finish. So as you see, if it's on a piece of paper, there's something else under there. That's like vile blue paisley. Okay, so there's the thing. This can be whatever finish I want. And this is my quick question. Not a review. I'm not going into details until I've properly set this guitar up. Because it deserves a really good setup. When I change the strings, I can remove the whole pick guard. The two knobs come off and the whole pick guard comes off. What finish should I put in this? I'm going to put this out to you. Because if it's on a poster or if it's on a piece of paper that's big enough that I can cut the template out, it can be this design. It can be wood finish from a piece of wallpaper. It can be Minecraft poster. It can be skulls and lightning. It can be anything at all. If it's on a poster, it can be on this. And this is why I wanted this guitar back. I'd had this model for from 91 till certainly in near the mid 2000s. And it was my main guitar. Then I sold it. And once I sold it, there was almost instant regret because from that moment on, whenever I seen something that was a nice finish, I went, oh, I like that. That's nice wood grain. So as you see, I've got wood grain there. That's a Red Beach RBM. So that's slightly different. But, you know, there's tiger stripes. There's purple Ibanez. There's green EVHs. There's cracked ice finished Ibanez, more wood grains. There's a whole assortment of 
essentially the same guitars. Ibanez RG Super Strats and neck profile, all identical to this or as close as damn it. And um, every time I got a bit of a desire to buy a new guitar, it was purely based on, you know, finish. Little specs here and there, but I wasn't too worried about that. I would change things out to suit myself. So it was, that's a nice root beer finish. That's, uh, you know, whatever. This could be whatever. I can put tiger stripes on it. I can put a Disney poster under it. I can go very classy with wood grains. I can put granite effect, drawer liner, you know, you name it, vinyl. It, it can be vinyl, it can be paper, it can be cardboard. It, as you see, it can be tin foil. And that, apart from the bit I've now ripped off, that isn't actually a bad finish. On stage, you know, that will look pretty nice. So, um, this is what I'm asking. Once I've decided, and once, once you've decided, once I've looked through all the comments and seen the opinions, we'll try and go for something that's probably got the most kind of likes and things like that. And if I can get the design or get the poster, that's what's going on this. So I'm asking for your help. This is just a quick video. If you see some of these, these are amazing guitars, absolutely up there with premium quality Ibanez. They're fantastic. And not necessarily this model, which was the RGX 321 FP. They did a cheaper version, the 121 FP. The FP was free print or something, but it, they were marketed as free art. So you your free will with what you wanted to do. Um, but any of these Yamaha RGX guitars, now these were out just before the Pacifica range came out, so they're going back a bit of time. But this guitar, for a guitar that's 33 years old, is in absolutely fantastic condition. There's no fretwear at all. They need a bit of a polish, but there is no fretwear at all. The neck is perfectly good, the body's in great condition, the trim, all works perfectly well. They only made these for a year or so, maybe just one year, because they were a victim of the times. Yamaha brought out a very pointy super strat design right when grunge arrived, so they did not sell. And back in Southwest Scotland, I had to order this from a music shop that's no longer there in Dumfries called Ian Holmes and this was my first guitar. Anyway, I found this one used on a market, like a marketplace website in, in France, Le, Le Boncoin or Le Boncoin if you can't pronounce it. It's just a buy and sell kind of trading, a bit like Ad Trader or Craigslist or whatever else you've got. And uh, when I seen it, it was marketed slightly wrong. They just called it a Yamaha RGXD. But when I seen the picture, I knew exactly what it was. And uh, I got this for 200 euros. And I am absolutely over the moon with this. This will cure a lot of my guitar buying gas. <clears throat> because if I see a nice design from the 2025 Ibanez catalogue, catalogue, online brochure, I can just go, oh, that's nice. I can find a print of that or I can find something and put it on. So over to you. What will you do? What do you think would make a great design? You Go mad. Think of anything. It can be, like say, skulls, lightning, clouds. I used to have a tropical beach on one of mine. Um, Make it as metal as you like. Make it as silly as you like. Disney Frozen, you know, just let it go. Um, Minecraft is current right now. Manga stuff, you name it. He-Man, Masters of the Universe, you know. Uh, so relive your 80s childhood. So um, have a think. Put a comment down. Please 
like, subscribe, like other people's comments that you think are good ideas. Don't be too precious of your own. If you think, oh, damn, that's, got, that's a great idea. It's over to you. When I change the strings on this after I've got it all set up, I will put on, before I change the strings, I will try and find a design that's the most liked, most commented on, and put that on, and then I'll do a proper review on this guitar. In the meantime, have a look for our Yamaha RGX guitars. You get them usually quite cheap, and they're amazingly good, incredibly stable, never had tuning issues, and I used one of these, like I said, for 13, 14 years, and that was my number one guitar. And hopefully, once I'm finished with this, this will be another of my number one guitars again. Anyway, thank you very much. I'll have another video for you very, very soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.